My name is Dr. Karishma Singh, and my talk is on the computational insights into shikimid pathway derived phenolic acids as inhibitors of NOAA efflux pump. Microorganisms use efflux pumps to remove toxic substances, including antimicrobial agents often resulting in antimicrobial resistance. NOAA is the most studied efflux pump for efflux mediated resistance in gram negative and gram positive bacteria. The use of phenolic acids has gained momentum as potential NOAA efflux pump inhibitors over the years. Phenolic acids are plant phyto compounds that are synthesized in various plant biochemical pathways. The shikimid acid pathway was the focus of this study. 22 phenolic acids are synthesized in this pathway and are presumed to have potent antibacterial activity. This study sought to investigate the molecular interactions between the NOE efflux pump and shikimid pathway derived phenolic acids using in silico and in vitro experimental models. Molecular docking was used to gain insights into the probable interactions between the compounds and the NOE efflux pump. Following this, the top two compounds with the best docking scores at the active site cavity and the standard were subjected to molecular dynamic simulations to further elucidate their stability and flexibility over a 100 nanosecond period. Furthermore, the admit properties of the lead compounds were explored and drug likeliness was predicted as per the Lipinski's rule of 5. For in vitro studies, assays such as minimum inhibition concentration minimum bacterial concentration, time kill, and combination therapy was used to evaluate the antibacterial potential of the lead compounds and drug standard against gram-negative and gram-positive bacteria. Molecular docking results revealed that synopic acid had the highest binding score, followed by picomeric acid. Both the phenolic acids had a higher binding affinity in comparison to the drug standard ciprofloxacin. All compounds agreed with the Rapinski's rule of 5 for drug likeliness, as shown in Table 1, implying that these, that these test compounds can be orally administered and will effectively penetrate, penetrate through the cell wall and reach the NOI active site cavity. All compounds were non-inhibitors on cytochrome enzymes. Therefore, they are less likely to suffer drug-drug interaction-induced side effects. However, since docking is only a preliminary ind indication of the investigated compound's fitness within the active cavity of NOA, the binding poses of both phenolic acids and the drug standard were further subjected to MDS to elucidate their stability. More specifically, the degree of stability and convergence of a ligand protein system is normally measured by root mean square deviation, and the lower its value, the better the stability of the complex. With that being said, the p chimeric acid NOA complex was the most stable system with the lowest RMSD value and only slightly diffused from the APA protein after 80 nanoseconds, but prior to this, the system was equilibrated as can be seen in figure 1b. However, this was in sharp contrast with the observations with synaptic acid figure 1a and ciprofloxacin figure 1c, where the extent of deviation from the APA protein was relatively higher, with the highest being observed for synaptic acid. The results presented in the study corroborates with other studies present in the literature thus explaining the greater stability of p chimeric acid when compared with synaptic acid and ciprofloxacin. In addition, p chimeric acid had a higher, had, sorry, had a lower average RMSD than ciprofloxacin, implying that this compound is more promising as a potential NOE efflux pump inhibitor. The structural flexibility of the protein ligand complex was determined using root mean square fluctuations. High fluctuations are indicative of more flexibility and less stable bonds, whereas less fluctuations indicates a well-structured regions in the complex, thus more stable bonds. All complexes displayed more flexible residues, 
which is higher RMSF values at the following residue numbers. The results in this study depicts that picomeric acid noe complex, figure 2b, has less, has less residue motility at the active site, which indicates stable bonds between the ligand and the protein in comparison to synaptic acid noe complex and superfluoxy noe complex. Hence, it contributes to the structural stability of the protein ligand complex. RMSF values obtained for picomeric acid complex was in, was in agreement with the RMSD values in figure 1 for this protein ligand complex in which the complex was found to be more stable in comparison to synaptic acid and superfluoxine noe complexes. All three ligand protein complexes exhibited hydrogen bonding, hydrophobic interactions, ionic interactions, and water bridges. In all three complexes, hydrogen bonding interactions were observed more than 90% of the tra trajectory time. Ligand protein interactions revealed that during the simulation time, synaptic acid interacted and made more interaction with no A amino acid residues, followed by picomeric acid and superfluoxine. However, the hydrogen bond interactions between picomeric acid and no A amino acid residues were much stronger in comparison to synaptic acid and superfluoxine, thus contributing to the more stable complex of picomeric acid. The piperine bonding is involved in the interaction of hydrogen binding with tyrosine 76 in synaptic acid, picomeric acid, and superfluoxine and arginine 154 in ciprofloxacine to form a protein ligand complex is seen to be favorably oriented, oriented, oriented. It can be inferred that piperine bonds may be interfering with the NOE pump mechanism and thus reducing the ability to eliminate the antibacterial agent. Tyrosine 76 was the main amino acid residue in all three ligand protein complexes. Hence, it is one of the most important residues at the active site cavity. Following the in silico results, the ion beta results as depicted in Table 2. Synaptic acid and picomeric acid had the same MIC and MBC values against S. aureus. However, picomeric acid had a higher activity against E. coli, contrary to the higher activity observed with synaptic acid against P. Originosa. Ciprofloxacine was most effective against S. aureus followed by E. coli. These MIC values are comparable to those found in previous studies describing antibacterial activity of phenolic acids against gram negative and gram positive bacteria. In order to combat multi drug resistant infections, one of several ways is to combine antibiotics and phytocompounds in a synergistic manner. In this study, the FICI results revealed that the antibacterial activity of ciprofloxacin was synergistic with synaptic acid against S. aureus and P. originosa and with P. comeric acid against S. aureus, E. coli and P. originosa, as can be seen in Table 3. For E. coli, the combination of synaptic acid and ciprofloxacin had an additive effect which indicates that the efficacy of the standard in combination with synaptic acid exhibits an effect greater than the effect of either drug taken individually. The time kill rate showed a dose-dependent bacterial effect on the test bacteria. After 8 hours, both the compounds and the standard showed a decline in bacterial viability for all bacterial cultures, indicating strong antibacterial activity of synaptic acid and picomeric acid as well as the drug standard. In conclusion, synaptic acid had the highest binding score. Picomeric acid was the most stable compound at the binding site, of, at the binding site cavity of NOA. The interaction modes of phenolic acids under investigation include hydrogen bonds, hydrophobic interactions, and piperine bonds. In addition, both phenolic acids exhibited hydrogen bonds with tyrosine 76 that is thought to aid in the inhibition of NOE efflux pump. 
Both the phenolic acids and standard were found to be drug-like and their ADME properties were found to be within an acceptable range. Furthermore, the antibacterial activity of the phenolic acids and drug standard was highly effective. The kill rate of the lead compounds were over an 8-hour period, inferring that compounds have bactericidal properties. This was further elaborated in, combination, in the combination therapy of phenolic acid and the drug standard, showing a synergistic effect against the test bacterial cultures. Overall, the in silico results were corroborated, corroborated by the in vitro assays. Thank you.